Mark from Mark's Reviews and Tutorials and we're going to give you a very quick little video on how to reset the uh, brake fluid um, level in your car. Now of course you should only do this reset if you have actually changed the brake fluid. It comes up on a timer saying after how many kilometres that it thinks it's a, a good idea for that to be replaced. So foot not on the brake, get into the car, key the ignition, press your start stop button once, that'll go to position one or accessories. Press it again, it'll go to the on situation. This is what we want. Now this car has iDrive, <coughs> but we're not gonna use it to do this reset. It's actually done using the little stalk down here. So we press and hold that, pressing it in until we get it to come through to the reset menus. We press and hold until it comes up there. The triangle, keep waiting. There, it comes through to the brakes. Then we toggle, press again on that one. Now we press and hold until it offers us a reset. Okay. No, it's actually not going to let me do it because I've already reset it. It's 5 2020, so it's gone off for two years. So what would normally happen, I'll show you on another setting. Press and hold that. Here we go, brakes. There's the fluid. Here, there's the oil. It's also been reset. Where's one that hasn't? A service, 30,000. I'll press, I'll see if we can reset that. Press and hold, it says reset, let it up, press again. And that then goes back and sets it now to 50,000. So it, it resets back to its full level. That's the service light is now not gonna come on until it, uh, 50,000 kilometers from now. So that is the procedure. Um, unfortunately, I can't show you live because um, this one's already been reset. Here we go, front brakes, there. Press and hold. This is gonna say okay, because it's not needing reset, but if yours is after reset, it'll come up and say reset, and then you reset it and it'll take it out for two years.